I'm Fraser Simpson and um, we're going to try and find some um, highly desirable edible mushrooms. I've been mushroom picking now for 25 years. Most of the knowledge comes from just continuing to go out and observing nature in the field. I used to pick mushrooms with my grandfather, an expert. It's good to have books as backup that you can refer to, but all of my knowledge has come from experience, really. Here we have a common russula, I believe. As I've said, they're very hard to identify one from another. But let's have a look. As you can see, that's a typical patination of gills for a russula. If you compare the books, some people say it's edible, and some people say it's not edible. Coluccio basically says that although they might be edible, they're really not worth picking. They're very fragile, they pick up a lot of litter which is hard to clean and he doesn't value them as one of the better mushrooms. What about you? What do you say? I've never tried them. <laughs> um, although you see them everywhere at this time of the year in the forests, um, I'm really after some of the more exciting mushrooms from a culinary perspective. One of the red russulas is called the sickener and for obvious reasons it's very possibly poisonous. You can tell a russula because it has a gill bottom, they're usually very fragile and quite often they have a lot of leaf litter stuck to the top. You might think that because this has been eaten by woodland animals and insects that this is edible to humans but there's no guarantee of that, I'm afraid. Here we have, by the looks of it, another type of russula. Uh, one or two of them are, are highly prized, which I suspect this is one of. What I'm gonna do is just cut it off again so we can have a look underneath at the gill system. There we go. So that's definitely a type of russula. You can see there's some maggot damage in the stem even. If this is a charcoal burner, it is highly prized in the culinary field, um, but you have to make sure. So I'm going to take this one home and do a little bit of extra research on it. So here we are back at home with our mystery mushroom. Um, I'm fairly sure that it's a charcoal burner, but there are other mushrooms that it could be. It could be a fragile russula, which is not edible. It could even be a blackish purple russula, which is edible if cooked, not if it's raw. And without really the use of a microscope and a database of information i can't go much further than that with this mushroom so i'm going to say no i'm not going to eat it it might be a good one it might not but if you're in doubt i would suggest not eating it at all Thank you.